Hi everybody, welcome back. I am going to do another uh, Dutch pour with a twist. I did this recently on a silver base. Absolutely loved it. I managed to get this really cool looking twist effect. So I'm going to do the same again, identical colours, but just switch up the base colour. So I'm going to pick um, the De La Rowney purple colour here, the sort of the pinkier purple. Use that as the base and use all the other colours for the design. So it should hopefully match and complement this painting. Um, so let me show you the colours. So here are my colours. So I've got Amsterdam Persian Rose, Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet, Amsterdam Ultramarine Violet, De La Rowney Purple, Montmartre Silver and Amsterdam White, um, Titanium White. So they're all mixed to my Dutch pour consistency, uh, which means I'm putting in flood fluoritrol and water. Uh, I'll put the recipe in the description of this video. So if you just click the video title and then some information comes up below and in that information will be the recipe that I'm using. So I'm using a 40 centimeter square canvas. So I've mixed up my purple base, but I've just added a tiny bit of white to it. Um, it's such a pretty colour, but because it's quite a dark colour and paints darken as they dry, I want, it, I want to still see that purple. I didn't want it to be too, too dark. So I've just added a little bit of white. It's just thickened up slightly. So I'm just adding just a little bit more water as well. Just always check your consistency just before you actually pour your paints. I mixed this about an hour ago and it's, you can, I could just see it's just thickened slightly. I still think that is slightly thick. Let me show you the consistency. So now nice and runny. So no trace, well virtually no trace. Just stinks straight under the surface. So I'm quite happy with that. Right, let's pour this on. Always try and keep a little bit left if you can, in case you need to touch up the edges or do anything else afterwards. Um, So base is nicely covered now. Let's put some of the colours on. Um, so I think I'm going to start with white. I always like to start with the colour I think that gives the most contrast between the base. Um, so like my last pour, I'm going to be putting the paint on diagonally, but then also a couple of little fanned out lines. And I'm not keeping these really very straight, these lines. Right, I'm going to put the silver on next because I want the silver to actually be quite near the bottom of the colours because then hopefully when I blow the other colours over the top, that's what will create some cells. And then last but not least, the pink, pale pink. Right, so I'm going to blow it out with the hairdryer in exactly the same way. And what I did last time, did I, I think, did I? I'm just going to turn it round slightly. So I first of all blew the hairdryer up this way then that bit and then that bit last of all. 
So let's see what happens. Brilliant, I'm really happy with that. Now let's just turn this the other way and then I'll do exactly the same on the other side. Brilliant. I haven't got the twist in quite the same way, but I've got the composition. Really interesting. I've got a really frilly bit here and also here, just the same. The cells are beautiful. The cells are popping up really, really nicely. It's a lot wider in the middle. I wonder if I can just narrow it slightly. I think to keep that narrow, I'm going to need to add a little bit more paint, otherwise it's just going to push back. Let's put a little bit more of the purple here and here. This is so, so pretty. The colours are just gorgeous. Um, I know the colours work well together, but with this arrangement, it works just as well with the cells because look at the silver. Again, it's the silver that's creating the cells. So this really proves it doesn't really matter if the um, silver is the base or in the design. Um, so I would say there's probably equivalent number of cells in this compared to the previous one. Um, this one is slightly more fluted. I didn't quite get the twist that I wanted in the center. Doesn't matter, um, but I've just blown around a little bit just to make it slightly more jagged. Whereas with the original one, I hardly did any extra blowing around. Um, it's so pretty. I'm not gonna torch it. Um, although I might just torch that pink bit just to break that up a bit but if I torch it I will get lots of little tiny tiny cells and I don't want that I don't want that so I'm just going to try and film and torch at the same time so I just want to try and torch this little bit here right a few little purple cells popped up there not much and that just means that that is solid pink there there might be something really deep underneath but it's it's solid pink yeah same there so yeah can't do anything about that i'm gonna leave that so yeah really really happy i think this will look fab next to the silver base so i'll be back when it's dry so it's now dry and I am so happy with it. The colour is absolutely spot on. I'm loving this purple colour. Um, it's not too dark. Um, it's, it really shows the warmth of the purple. Um, but yeah, really, really glad I added that extra white to it um, to lighten it up. These colours are so pretty. <laughs> I must just sound like a cracked record, keeping saying the same thing again and again. But it is the colour scheme is just gorgeous. Um, cells work really well. I love how fluted and irregular that edge is there. Uh, and then the same up this uh, this corner. Um, the composition just works so well. Um, so let me show you the two paintings side by side now. So they just work so, so well as a pair. Um, there are obvious differences in the composition. So this is much thinner here, thicker here. And also the corners, I think they've got less paint on than on this one. This one's just got more paint, it's a bit bigger. Um, but the colours, are, yeah, just look so good together. I love the iridescence of the silver and the real warmth and depth of the purple one. Um, so yeah, really, really nice pair. Um, I am contemplating doing another one, um, maybe of the pale pink, pale pink base, or even the purple base, or even doing two more, so that there's a set of four of them. Um, yeah, 
let me know what you think um what should i do more or just leave it as the two um, great thank you so much for watching um if you do like the paintings please do um hit the thumbs up button um the like button great thanks so much for watching take care bye